Who knew that Flame Dungeon it was a real thing in real life? Oh, it's accurate. She bought a special quantity of yarn and I saw it and thought, yeah, me too. Good afternoon, everyone. This is a vlog. Welcome to it. I hope that you enjoy it. Um, by the time you see this, I will have gone to unravel. But at the moment, I'm at home in Nottingham still, getting all my stuff ready to take with me. Because I'm going to stay with the lo Otherwise, I'm turning up to London and I have nowhere to stay. But I trust you, Caroline. I trust you. Um, I'm going to try. I've never done this before. I'm going to try to do some beading on the train. So I've got a three hour train journey down and a three hour train journey back. So I thought, take some stuff to bead. I'm going to be beading. I feel like these should not be in a thing together. I'm going to attempt to be beading sharks and hedgehogs. So if on Saturday you ordered sharks from me, because um, they're giving me the shop update tomorrow, but that already would have happened then um, you're going to have one slightly well-traveled shark that's going with me to Londinium um, and back. Yeah, I've never gone to Unravel Festival before, uh, Yarn Festival, so I am quite excited. So yeah, just last minute frantic packing. I say last minute, my train's in three hours, um, but apparently I like to be everywhere an hour earlier than I should be. Yeah, and then I get bored of waiting around so much. I could always pop into town early and try and get a makeup setting spray so my makeup doesn't come off. Or I could try to do something with my hair, but where's the fun in that? Nah, we'll leave it as it is. My shoes are on, I'm ready to go. Just before I put my coat on, I just want to point something out. I don't know how this has happened, because I've only ever hand washed this. I knit these sleeves to pretty much fit my arms they're now very short. <laughs> like, they look intentionally short, so I'm going with it. I just don't understand how I could have knit these to fit my arm, and then they've just like, pung up to like, to be three quarter length. I don't get it. I mean, I know it would block out. I just don't understand how it happened. But yeah. Getting ready to leave and get the tram. Hey Sophie, that's the fish. Sophie the fish. Sophie the fish. I mean, I need to get her something exciting for the tank. We cleaned this tank two days ago. Uh, please don't tell me it's dirty, because it's not. This is Sophie the fish. She's an old lady. Aren't you, Soph? 16. She is 16. Soph, stay still. This camera cannot adjust focus that quickly. arrived at Caroline's and we have five guys. This is a regular sized portion of chips apparently. <laughs> I don't understand what is regular about it <laughs> but I'm going to demolish it and it's going to be delicious. So I look awful because I've taken my makeup off and haven't moisturized yet but this is the room that I'm staying in. I'm sorry this is a podcast backdrop but is real or all, all of this yarn is Caroline's. And it's incredible. Like, look at it. Look at it. It's like having a yarn shop in your own house. And you've paid for everything. But still. Oh, I look very tired. I should not be filming this time of day in this light. Oh, I just want to, I just want to live here. But yes, day one is done. Very spotty. Um... Tomorrow off to unravel. I don't really know what time. That's okay. Um, and then this fun will ensue. I mean, continue. Because we've already had lots of fun this evening, which is why I haven't feel much because I've just been chatting and catching up. And so much yarn. Right, I'm going to go to bed because I'm acting ridiculous, which clearly means I'm overtired and you need to get to sleep. So. I'll see you tomorrow. Pretty sure this is mine. 
one of my schemes. It looks familiar. Oh, I should get over it. I can't get over it. It's always a little bit weird staying at someone else's house and filming. Because I don't make too much noise. I sound like I'm talking to myself. Even though Caroline is well aware I'm vlogging today. But today is Unravel. I've never been to Unravel before. Um, I've looked a couple of times at going, but it's always been that little bit far away. But now I'm staying here for the evening, for the night, so it is not as far away anymore. Um, but I'm quite excited. It looks to be quite a big show, so should be good fun. Not that I need to buy any more yarn, but need doesn't come into it when it comes to yarn festivals. Made myself a tea, as I often do in the morning, and yeah. Just got ready and put this on my face. Ta -da. She's trying her hair so I can talk a bit louder now. Which is stupid because I know she doesn't care. This is where a cat sleeps. I'm not going to be able to get a shot of a cat. A cat's terrified of me, except for yesterday when I got some cuddles. But I think he's terrified of me. Apparently, he's terrified of everyone though, so I'm not taking it too personally. But this mug is the cutest thing. Are you in focus? Yeah. Isn't it so cute? And also. It's like a reverse of my sofa aided. That I'm going to be wearing. This is what I'm wearing to unravel. And jeans. I think I brought a skirt. I don't think I want to wear the skirt. We're in the car. Just proof. Proof that we are together. Because you haven't seen Caroline's face yet. Yes. <laughs> I just haven't shown it. Um, we're in the car. We're on the way. I was going to show you scenery as we're driving. But it's very misty. So I don't know if that is overly enjoyable. But we're on the way to unravel. I'm very excited. I've never been, Caroline has been a good few times, so she can, she can be my official tour guide, um, which is quite exciting. And I'm going to try not to buy everything, but let's not make promises. <laughs> I can't, I'm not guaranteed to be able to keep. Yes, basically. just done this on Caroline's <laughs> vlog so it's go fine. and go and check out Knitting Vicariously for her view of the day we're doing everything twice but we've parked we are here we're now going to walk to unravel and um, squish all of the things yarn preferably other things would be inappropriate we don't do that unless invited mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in yeah. which case welcomed yes <laughs> Ta -da, we are here do, 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 do. how exciting very pretty building. I am a fan. So I literally just walked in the door and bumped into one of my friends who bought the February Knit Carole Young Club and has knit a tiny cardigan out of it. It looks so cute. I love it. I'm so excited. I need to knit myself a jumper out of this. It's official. Very cute. Skein Queen, Skein Queen, and um, who knew that Blame Dundon it was a real thing in real life? Oh, it's accurate. She bought a special quantity of yarn, and I saw it and thought, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, way to go and not buy anything. Sure. Doing really well. I blend into the background beautifully. <laughs> I match, which is always good. But yeah, 
We have ordered lunch. It's on the way. I'm very excited. We have left the venue. We're taking time to process. And I, on camera, I don't feel like I look as my makeup doesn't look as messed up as I thought it would. So that's always a pleasant sign. Um, but yeah, just taking a break, chilling out, existing, and going back for round two because that is the way a yarn festival needs to be done. We saw, we purchased many, many lots of many's. I mean, one of these bags is for Becky, so Becky, I bought your bag. It makes it look like I've bought more than I have, but I. We beelined for that. it, it was very important to us. It was important, but we will show you later. We will do a haul with wine back at Caroline's house mm -hmm. um, and such, but now we're just chilling outside, literally enjoying chilling. the spring it's air. Wonderful. It's been such a warm day today, which is weird for February, but. Global I'm, warming is a thing. I'm saying I'm not hating it right now, but I should be. But yes. <laughs> we are currently back at Caroline's. We went out for dinner and I didn't film anything because I'm that person. <laughs> really good vlogger. But it was a very nice dinner. Um, and now we're back and chilling. And Caroline is just here. She Hi. has had a jumper change. I have. I've cozied up. Ever, ever glamorous outfit change <laughs> midway through the night. Um, we will haul tomorrow morning when we are more mentally with it and I, I am less tired looking because Caroline always looks fab. So, <laughs> um, I am less tired looking tomorrow morning. And yes, so I'm just going to round off today and I will see you all tomorrow. I am going to miss waking up to the view of the stash wall. It's so glorious. I'm so jealous. It's so awkward. So this is one of mine, which is very exciting. And so is this one. Good times all around. We've got two cameras going on. <laughs> so we're going to be looking both at you and at you mm -hmm. at different intervals because we didn't want to film this twice. I hope that's okay. No, it's going to be like visual stereo. Yeah. So, yeah. so if you want to see this in a, in a different Make sure you check out each other's videos, depending where you're watching this. And to that point, this is Hannah. Hannah is of the Corner of Craft podcast, Stitch Markers and Yarny Extraordinaire. I do my best. She does excellent. And this well. is Caroline, aka Dundonit, and the hostess of the Knitting Vicariously podcast. Which... And uh, we're in situ as well. We're on... I'm on set. <laughs> it's real. It's, it's real. It's not a green screen. It's, it's all real. It's not. It's not. It's 3D and everything. It's so. amazing. It's much better than 3D. <laughs> much recommend. So, um, yeah. So yesterday we were at Unravel. Today we are a little bit hoarse and a little bit eye baggy. Mostly down to dehydration. I also think I've caught a cold somehow at some point. It's not me. I didn't have one. I leave the house and then I'm ill. And what is this? <laughs> like. um, but it was a lovely, lovely day. And we got to meet a bunch of amazing people, um, both folks that we know before in terms of like podcaster friends, but also new to peep, uh, new to us people. Mm -hmm. Is that what we call them? New to people. Be <laughs> new to people. People that we had not met before or had only met online and got to hug and squish in person. And that was delightful. So much fun. It was good. It was a good day. Now, given it was your first Unravel, mm -hmm. how did you find it? How has it compared? So, my first Yarn Festival was Edinburgh Yarn Festival. Which is a high bar to set. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I went, I went big. Um, <laughs> I would say it's on par in regards to the amount of vendors there. Fair. It's a big festival, and it's huge. Yeah. I was not expecting it to be such a big festival, and mm -hmm. then I kept seeing people on Instagram posting that they were there. And I was just like, how are there so many people? Um, but it's much more spread out. Yes, and therefore less concentrated. Slightly claustrophobic feeling. Yes. So the funny thing with Unravel is it's held in a Maltings building, which is a kind of arts and crafts style building that has lots of different rooms, lots of different sort of smaller venues within it and it just means that there are lots of different spaces but mm -hmm. the, I swear the first few years that I went I wasn't totally sure that I'd seen everything Yeah, because you always figure out there's a room that you haven't seen or a bit of a room that you didn't quite get to because yeah. you went one way round and you missed a bit and it's so... like rooms off of other rooms leading to other rooms and it's... then it's... 
If I didn't have Caroline with me, I would have got lost because my sense of direction <laughs> is non-existent and it's kind of like a really fun maze. It is. Mm -hmm. It's a yarny maze. Yeah. And is... not complaining. <laughs> no, and so during our time in that yarny maze, mm -hmm. um, we, we did fairly well. We had a first loop yeah. that was almost a complete loop almost. without yeah. purchases. Yeah. And then we fell down a little bit, but we got back up and made more purchases. And they were all good purchases. Not that there would be bad ones, there but... Was, there's zero regret. Zero regret, because why live your life with regrets when you can, you know, have goals like this? <laughs> Seriously. And, um, and yeah, so shall we have a look through? Sure! Well, I'm going to start off with a very, very quick one, which is... Hannah is staying with me at the moment. Um, and Hannah, as I've mentioned, is a yarn dyer and stitch marker maker extraordinaire. Um, and... Despite not having to do this in the slightest, that is not a prerequisite of staying shade under it, um, Hannah was so kind as to gift me this skein of amazingness, which is frankly just... I mean, I'm very on brand today. Very on brand. I mean, I saw it and thought, mm, th that would go with gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as though you typecast me at all. No. And it's not as though it's entirely accurate no. and it's called pseudo dragon which mm -hmm. i love mm -hmm. i love the name of it and with all that how can i hold it so you can both see Ooh. sort of hereish sort <laughs> of hereish look at how pretty it is reds and oranges and yellows and browns oh it's perfect mm. perfect and it is on your sturdy dk base which is your bfl and it's going to be a hat of squishy wonder and i'm very excited thank you very much for you're me. welcome um and as if that wasn't enough because she's amazing and yet also ridiculous. Um, folks who watched the last couple of episodes and saw some of the prizes for the Blame Dunder Knit Along will know that Hannah was so kind as to custom make tiny gold stitch markers for the three lucky prize winners and they are complete world exclusives. Mm -hmm. And yeah, very excited about that. And now I too have a little tiny gold sheet. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm I mean, gonna show this you is first. where the gold yarn comes from. I'm gonna show you first. Yeah. Look at it though. And then I'm going to show you. And that means me standing up. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm so excited. It's where all the gold yarn comes from. <laughs> People don't dye it. It's the it red comes gold from sheet. The gold sheet. Mm -hmm. I mean, thank you. Mm -hmm. This is so kind. You did not need to do that. Well, I know, but still. Yes. Right. So let's dive in. We did. So we, we will include vlog footage mm -hmm. from the wanderings and the, the filmings and the places. Mm -hmm. Mine is going to have some interesting white balance issues going on because I was trying to take into account some of the lighting but the lighting was a bit... I was not. <laughs> the lighting was a bit crazy. I just switched the camera on and hoped for the best which is honestly how I live my life. Which is fair. Mm -hmm. Which is fair. It's a good motto to live by. Mm -hmm. Shall show, show we do the matching ones <laughs> first? Let's do the matching ones first. Because so, that is technically order of purchase. It is. It is. So the, the first purchase that we made um, was having wandered around a couple of the rooms, having spent a little bit of time chatting to Amy Florence downstairs, um, who had the wonderful Stranded Dye Works booth. Oh my goodness, it was fantastic. And we kept getting in the way of everyone who was trying to purchase, so we had to keep moving around and, and just, you know, Rotate, standing. Rotate. Exactly, standing in the way of the yarn fumes and mm -hmm. trying just shuffling past, mm -hmm. but um, that was all good. So we meandered upstairs, we stopped in to see my lovely friend Sue Stratford of the Knitting and Gin. I don't have my bag with me, but oh, no. June, you have seen the bags, you have seen the pins, they're adorable. Mm -hmm. um, and just next door to Sue of Knitting and Gin was Skein Queen. Mm -hmm. Skein Queen is a fabulous star. She's based in, I think, Berkshire, a little yeah, bit off, so. yeah, a little bit up from the M4, and um, has a myriad of bases. She's been around for a very long time, and um, she I has. She's retiring from dying. Is she? And she uh, she's having one of her as was assistance taking oh, over that's amazing yeah passing on the couple of days mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, i did not know this yep. um but yes so we were standing merrily squishing some of skein queen skeins as one does mm -hmm. um and our eyes were caught by some behemoth skeins in the corner and so there might be there might be some um coordinating Christmas jumper fun going on here. I'm so excited. <laughs> now, I don't think Christmas was necessarily front of mind. Well, but no, it happened. Yeah. It's red and green. Exactly. Exactly. The ultimate Christmas duo. Yeah, because certainly in my case, 
I picked up these two. There were only two skeins in the green. Mm -hmm. um, now the yardage on them is significant. So these are 200 gram skeins uh, or close to eight ounce, I wanna say. Um, and they are 506 meters, which in yards is a bit more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my technical workings. Same. Um, um, but they are 70% Corydale, 30% Polworth, they're DK weight and super squishy and lovely and wondrous and perfect for a sweater. They're huge! Huge. It's ridiculous. So, Caroline picked hers out and we, you know, we're trying to find a contrast and whatnot. And whilst we were looking and Caroline purchased hers, I had not intended to buy it. And then, two seconds passed and then I decided I wanted to copy her in the most flattering way. <laughs> so, the blame done to knit along um, needs to happen again, basically. So mm -hmm. I can knit with this, mm -hmm. because I blame you a little bit for this. That's fair. It's fair. It's and true in person it. as it is on the internet. <laughs> um, it's both virtual and physical blame. I'm, I'm on board with this, I'm on board. Mm -hmm. But these are so squishy. They so are. So squishy, so soft. And I don't think they're super wash, you know? I don't think they are either. And I'm kind Corridale of okay with Polworth. it. I'm more than okay with it. I'm kind of okay with it. Very so yeah, it is the Sunsea base. They don't have specific colours against them. This is called Naked. That is called Naked. Which On the basis makes sense. Undyed, I suspect, but, but other than that. These two do not have names. No. The red ones? The green ones. And I think Ellie of Skane Deer might have followed suit on you as well she got red ones she did because mm -hmm. you know ellie and burgundy who'd have thought i know but very on brand with purchases i mean yeah mm -hmm. this had to happen it's beautiful <laughs> so you know we've done almost one loop we've got sweater quantity under our belt yep <laughs> yep this was um, not the plan by the way i had mm. not intended on buying that much and but it's so reasonable it is very reasonable so these giant skeins are 24 pounds each for a double skein yes so definitely, definitely worth that. Yeah. Um, so we, we continued on our merry way. We got a little bit further. We went into one of the other rooms upstairs. Mm -hmm. And in our wanderings came across the lovely, lovely Dusty Dimples, mm -hmm. who has some gorgeous hand eyes. She's based in the UK. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say Birmingham, way. I think Midlands, certainly. Mm -hmm. That would make sense. Yeah. Um, and we ogled and stood and and did some Bundled. gentle fondling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the yarn. To do. The yarn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Should we go first? <laughs> sure. This one. It's on her seventy-five twenty-five um, merino and nylon sock, and it's called Nelly Pot. And I'll <laughs> do this one first. So and it's got such gorgeous speckles, and she was too generous because I fondled it and pointed it out and said how much I liked it and then she said, here you go. I yeah. was like, oh, you didn't have to. She really didn't have to. I was gonna to. buy it anyway. We really were, <laughs> we really, really were. Um, yeah, she was incredibly lovely and generous and what was amazing was the fact that you were wearing your So Faded sweater, which has a lot of colors that are very similar to this and so it felt entirely appropriate that that's yeah. what you walked away with. Mint, so I was wearing mint. So, so pretty. I was wearing much more knitwear than I am today. I mean, knitting is metal. It's kind of related. It's very related. <laughs> I like what you've done. I know. And um, similarly, uh, I, it's it's almost as though we scripted this because you were wearing a mint jumper, yeah. direct for the one that's mint. Um, I wasn't wearing this colour, but I still picked up this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and this is another beautiful, so this is another sock base of hers. It looks slightly different to yours. Yours might be a high twist I base. I think mine might be a high twist base. Um, whereas this is um, a sort of more um, standard four ply sock base. Mm -hmm. It is in the You Can Find Me in Cuba colourway. It's a 7525. Um, it does remind me of iced gingerbread biscuits. Like something nice about it. Christmassy knit. I think so. So if I pop this here, it might eventually decide to stop focusing on my nose. Excuse me. One there we second. go. I'm just gonna do one there of these. There we go. Mm -hmm. Um and again, gravitating towards this with all the pretty golds and greens in it. It was mm. very, very perceptive. And again, elbow goodness going on on Cam's right. camera. I'm admiring your ear and stitches <laughs> on my camera because <laughs> uh, my camera is focused on your elbow. Oh there we go. There we go. Mm. So there we are. So this is, again, this was a gift. She did not need to do this. You did not need to do this. You're very, very kind and generous. Yes. Thank you very much. Bless her. So pretty. So pretty. Mm -hmm. She had the whole family there as well. She did. <laughs> she amazing. did. And um, 
all of them were looking surprisingly upbeat and sprightly for it being a day two already mm -hmm. of a show. So. Yes. Um, and while we were stood there, I was listening to the conversation, mm -hmm. we were having a lovely chat, and then got massively distracted by these. <laughs> um, I, I just, yeah, it was... So the problem that I have with these is that they're beautiful, and then you reach out and you touch them and you realise they're an MCN blend, and they're mm. squishy and soft and glorious and lovely. So soft. So pretty. Um, and these are her evergreen colourway, and as I say, they're MCN fingering weight. They are the most perfect kind of tealy, minty green speckles. Not so minty. I was say, I can Thank you. If you'd like Thank to. you so much. Not so minty that I'm going to struggle because, as we all know, mint green is not always my strong point. It's um, got enough darker speckles in there to balance really out does. the mintiness. It's tonal enough to make it wearable. But yeah, I think these are going to be held together and used in a shawl or a cowl or something that goes around my neck because. It will be so soft. I just want to strip my face on it the whole time. <laughs> I do have that problem with some yarns, I will say. Mm. Mm. Well, when we were stood at Amy's booth mm. later on, mm -hmm. she had a no-frills sweater. And I was just stood whilst mm -hmm. everyone was chatting and just stroking the sleeve. Mm -hmm. It was really soft. Yeah, it happens. was amazing. That's what happened. It was amazing. Um, we then... I think finished a loop, went out, grabbed some lunch, had yeah. some lovely lunch. Yeah. I had a scotch egg that was the same size as my face. Before that. Oh. I bought oh, you this. Did. I bought I was sent on a mission to be a mule. <laughs> and um Becky had I'm not I'm taking it out of the bag, but Becky had requested one of the Plystra, Plustra bags. I don't know how it's pronounced. I think Plystra is right. Maybe Plystra. Mm. Um and an across body one. And so this was from Knit with Attitude. And she wanted it in the grey, so she's got it in the grey. And Becky, it's gonna go in the post to you. <laughs> Along with the tote bag. Which is awesome. They're a duo. Yes. yes. And they had some gorgeous bags. Oh my goodness. In terms of the colours of them. I so almost got one. But maybe I'll go back at EYF. And EYF, they'll be back. Reassess. They had a really pretty mustardy yellow. They had a sort of caramel goldy one. There was a pretty berry I liked berry the pink. pale blue. Oh yeah, that was good. And I had a teal one. Yeah. Good colours. Mm. But possibly also available at Knit With Attitude's web shop. So they are usually we'll try and find links and yes. do stuff and things. Get things sorted. Yes. Yes. Um well yeah, we went out for lunch. Yeah. Had a little bit of a respite. Yeah. Um lovely picture. Giant Scotch egg. Yes, giant scotch egg. Lovely picture of <laughs> Hannah on my Instagram stories blending in with the sofa that she was sitting against. Which that, is excellent. That jumper matches a surprising <laughs> amount of things. First of all I noticed with this mug it true in the morning. It's true. And then with the background of the <laughs> Who knew? Yeah. Mint greens everywhere. It is. All the way. Mm -hmm. I can't wear any of it. None yeah, of it for me. Is all around. Um, and then we um, girded our loins, I was going to say. We went yeah, back in. sure. Back in. Let's go more. with that. Why not? Why not? And in wandering round the Great Hall downstairs, um, bumped into a few people, had a good few chats. I think we ended up following our own Suffolk socks for quite a lot of the time, <laughs> just kind of cropping up and saying hi. Yeah. Um, but one of the vendors we stopped at was on the stage there, and she is Third Vault Yarns. And um, yeah, I think we were I think we were on a similar emotional wavelength when this happened. Mm. Just between this or the DK, and I went with this one. Yeah, a little bit of blurple that needed to happen. I hadn't intended to buy anything, <laughs> and then the longer we stood and chatted to, um, I don't know who the vendor, what the, who the owner of the business to, is. I need to find out her name. Me too. Um, we had a lovely, lovely chat with her. So yes. she, she dyes yarns that are based on, um, I think sort of sci-fi and board games and other associated excellent means of nerdery. She had a Dalek money belt on and it <laughs> made my day. That was amazing. She had a beautiful sweater on as well. She did. That she'd been designing, I think, mm -hmm. um, which was a sort of split back. Um, cables offset down one side and then a sort of contrast trim. Yeah. It was really pretty. Really and I pretty. think she mentioned she's in the works of getting that designed and published and um, again, have to links her on in places. And yes. Stock. Yes. Um, I was squishing a couple of different options. Mm -hmm. I ended up going with this one mm -hmm. um, because it's called Caroline DK. That's yeah. the name it's of literally it. got her name on it. <laughs> It. Not even figuratively. It is literally there. <laughs> it's Caroline Dundered it. It's it's Caroline. Dick. It's it's yeah. It's me. I'm sorry. Fate defined. I, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And the colourway is sear, mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful blurpley, purpley, wonderfulness. 
Gorgeous. If you're not there, see if you can see. There we go. There we go. So pretty. It's more perfect in real life than the camera's showing it to be, so that's okay. Pop it up here, and you can see it too. We're working with slightly odd lighting in here today, so apologies for that. I haven't set up my floor lights or anything, but... It's casual. It's all good. Oh, my tummy just rumbled. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going out for breakfast soon, so <laughs> it'll be good. So yeah, this one here. And then this is on her companion four ply, um, which is 100% support merino, and this is called Mycelium. It's and great. it's just kind of me in a skein, really if is. anyone has watched the podcast for a long time. My hair has been all of these colours at once on many occasions. Um, it's and it's great. just... Yes. I Love approve. It. I don't know what it's going to be, but that's okay. Well, we thought it could be a hat, potentially, yeah, at least with the four ply scope. Perfect. I would have to make sure that it would be my when my hair is not blue hat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel we could just wear them like this. Okay, okay. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. Excellent. Um, and then... You've got another... I do. So, I have this terrible affliction whereby if there are beautiful samples of patterns that I've wanted to knit and they are hanging on the wall. And I do emphasize very specifically, kind of hanging quite high up. Mm -hmm. um, such very that, much on display. Yes, such yeah. that I can see them from a distance yeah. and become obsessed at point of first sight. Yeah. Um, there is a strong guarantee that I'm gonna come in with my wallet and just, just make Throw make your card at people. <laughs> And um, <laughs> the, this particular Less aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> done with love, done with love, <laughs> affectionate flinging. Um, but it was it was exactly this instance that drew me into the Walcott yarn stand. So um, Carmen, who also has the ED um, store, a yarn store over in Bath, has um, Walcott yarns. There were some beautiful colours on display, and there mm. is a specific colour of Walcott yarns that has had my heart for a very long time. Before she shows the colour <laughs> of yarn. <laughs> and if you're watching this on my channel and you don't watch Caroline, then you'll very quickly mm -hmm. learn. Yeah. But, Dunder viewers, mm -hmm. we're making that thing. Um, just very quickly, take yeah. a second, yeah. pause the video, type in the comment what colour you think it might potentially <laughs> possibly be. I mean... And then we'll check and see I mean, if you're right. I, I genuinely hate that I'm this predictable. But I am. Consistent <laughs> is the word. This is consistent. true. Consistent. This is true. Not predictable. It's consistent. I am going to um, put a little um, swooshy, swooshy thumbnail. It's going to come in from this side, I think, to show you the pattern that we're talking about here. I can't guarantee this I'll do is, that. I'll, there'll be a picture or a link. There'll be a link. Um, and it's the we'll Kuru. See. Uh, Kuru sweater is in Lane magazine. I don't know the name of the designer. It is an all over cabled sweater um, of beautifulness beautifulness and it had been knit up in the Walcott yarns opus it's like I'm a floating head <laughs> it's just... oh I'm obscenely predictable um it's the goldenrod colorway which we're entertained by enough as it is um but it is this perfect caramelly hayloft gold I'm making that clear for those in the back and I do mean my knit group who still maintain this as brown <laughs> How very dare you. Um, it is a beautiful like burnt toffee caramelly gold colour and it's going to be divine and everyone who has touched this yarn says they can't believe how soft it is. It's deceptively soft as so. a as a skein because it's Falkland it, Merino baby alpaca 100% awesome which exactly. I cannot disagree with mm -hmm. and wouldn't dream of it. It's beautiful. It is stunning. It's stunning because it looks like it should be quite woolly. Mm. And I think it's the alpaca like, slight hairiness to it. It's similar mm. kind of looking. Mm. And this is soft Yes. by comparison to a, a lot of yarns, but it's not like... Buttery. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Trick yeah. On this, oops. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, Not down. Yeah. It had to, it had to happen. So, mm -hmm. like I say, if, um, if you have pretty samples, I am a sucker for them. Sucker. As a yarn dyer, that's a good to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then... We came back. We did. We were done. We were done. We went out for dinner. We had a lovely meal. We had a wonderful meal. And then we came back and Caroline said, Hannah, I have this yarn. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to knit with it. Are you interested in it? And we made a deal. Mm -hmm. A very generous deal. Well, so 
anyone who's seen my channel for a little bit may know that I knit a no frill sweater last year. Um, it is in a mauvey pink colour and I love it. Um, however, I had been trying to find the exact accommodation that I wanted for quite a long time and it just so happened that at a previous unravel I picked up a combination I thought was going to work and as time went on I was less and less convinced it was going to work for me and my colouring and it just so happened that... It's so beautiful! <laughs> it's... I, I'm just getting them. I'm going to get them all out. Mm -hmm. Cool, let's start with this one. <clears throat> doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. So this is by... I'm holding oh, thank you. This is by Skein Queen also. Mm -hmm. I passed that to you in the most unflattering <laughs> manner. <laughs> I mean, this is fine. Just kind of hurled this it at you. This is fine. So... Too excited! Let me hold this here, see if we can see. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. This one's called Violet Gin. It is. This one has slinky twist face. I like that you are craving it like a newborn. I mean, sure. <laughs> sure. It's very pretty. It's got, it's a really nice lilac colour with speckles of beautiful. It is, and it's a merino out. silk as well. So there's a little bit of silk in it too. Very luxury. Mm -hmm. And then... There are these little floofy things, which is her vintage lilac on her floof base, which is kid mohair and silk, and literally the most villain vine mauve, <laughs> except for the one that she dyes herself, obviously. Only slight exception. But, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Oh no. <laughs> and we're back. My camera decided to stop. It's because point and shoot cameras only film for a maximum amount of time because otherwise they have to pay high tax and be classed as video cameras. Oh, things no you do you not know. know. <laughs> this is going to be a no frills sweater. And I wanted to knit one for such a long time. I'm so And happy. I didn't think I'd be able to. Uh huh. And now I can. You can. And I tried on Caroline's yesterday and I now want to live in it. Mm -hmm. It's so soft. It's so soft. It's the warmest thing. Which, considering it's knit out of fingering weight and lace weight held together, surprising. It shouldn't be as warm as it is. But also very light. Yes. yes. Warm, warm but light. Mm -hmm. Good combo. Very good combo. But yeah, so that was an unexpected addition, but one that I'm very welcome to embrace. <laughs> oh, look at these speckles. It's got like teeny bits. Of... Okay, I'll stop. She's so clever. She is so clever. So clever. So all in all, that was our that was our day. We had a hoard. wonderful, wonderful time. Mm hmm. And saying hello to people it was, was fabulous. It there was, was quite a lot of group hugging that went on, which I enjoyed. Good times all round. Indeed. Indeed. And um, yeah. No complaints. None at all. I would recommend Unravel to people who are relatively near. I think it's one of the few that are in the south. Yes. From what people have said. It's mm -hmm. in Surrey, mm -hmm. in a place called Farnham, mm -hmm. um, for those that aren't aware. And yes. It's a really good one. I feel like it's a good first yarn festival. I would agree. There's a lot there, there's a lot of variety, but it's not too crowded. Friday was apparently busier than the Saturday, yep. which surprised me, but it, it was half ten. Mm -hmm. um, but you actually have time to like walk around and look at everything, because sometimes at EYF it can get a little bit frantic. Yeah. And stress inducing. Exactly. But um, no, it was really lovely. I think it was mm. my first actually, but years ago. So I think I first went to it with my knit group. Okay. Um, and really, really enjoyed it. And obviously, since have been to many other festivals. Yeah. But old hand. Yeah. Old good, hand. good, good mix. Yes. Of vendors and lovely people, and um, all round fun and squishing. It was a good day. I'm really excellent. glad that I came to visit. Thanks for inviting me. Not at all. Thank you for Mainly coming. to wake up to this two I mean, days in a row. Oh, you mean right? Sure. I mean, and also this. <laughs> but I didn't wake up to you. No, this is true. We should quell any rumours before they start. Not that kind of party. No. Mm -mm. Mario, you're safe. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the reassurance, you understand. Um, and so I think we're going to go out and grab some breakfast. Yes! And enjoy a little bit more knitting, casually, before Hannah so sadly has to go home. How sad. Mm -hmm. But it's been fun. I now have to try and fit this in my bag. I mean, we'll make it happen. It'll be fine. Okay. Right. But yeah. We'll, we'll be doing podcasting and all the other things soon. Mm -hmm. Possibly yeah. I might be doing it at the same time as this, in which case that was redundant. But maybe you're good. I'll be doing it soon. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we'll see you all later. Yeah, see you later. Bye! Bye.
after a really long train journey because of rail works. Do -do -do -do. There's a Mario. There he is. Um, but yes, I've made it back home. I had a really lovely weekend. It was good fun and it was nice to meet Caroline in person and whatnot. I hope that you all enjoyed the vlog. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It helps to support my channel a little bit and feel free to subscribe. I post podcasts semi-frequently. And yes, I will see you all very soon in my next video. Thank you. Bye.